Hello guys, today we're going to look at installing a CSGO server. So the first step in this is downloading the software from Valve's website. So we'll go to the link in the video description and download the tool. In this video we'll do it for Windows. I'll right click and choose save link as to make sure I download it to my desktop. Then I'll extract the zip file to reveal the executable. You can choose whatever location you want, as long as you have enough space. So what we'll do, we'll right click and create a shortcut, and then we'll edit the properties of the shortcut. At the end, we're going to add the command in the, the description. So the first command is for updating the server. So we're going to rename the shortcut to update server. This is what will run to get the server up to date, as well as the initial installation of the server. Depending on your internet connection, this may take a few minutes. For me, it takes less than 5 minutes. So you'll just wait until the box disappears and you'll find a whole lot of new files in your directory. The folder we've chose to install this to is CSGO server. So we'll have a look and find the folder called CSGO server we'll find a file called srcds.exe. We'll create a shortcut and edit the properties. And we'll just paste at the very end the second command from the description. This is for starting the server. You can have a look at the settings in there and choose whatever settings you want. Then we'll rename the shortcut to start server and we'll use this every time we start the server. Before you start the server, you make sure you logged out of Steam and you should allow it uh, through this Windows firewall to make sure that people outside of your own computer can join the server. If you want your server to be accessible outside of your own network, you also need a game server token, which I'll link a video to on how to set up. So when the server is up and running, you can start up your Steam client again and start Counter-Strike. Simply press the play button and then browse community servers. Choose the LAN tab and your server should be right there. There should be some bots on the server, but these can be configured later on. To change settings of your server, you go first into the CSGO folder, then the CFG, which is where all your config files will be. In an upcoming video, I'll show you how to create a server.cfg file and edit all of the settings in there. And also in another video, I'll show you how to install a source mod on your server to make the most of your server with all of the plugins that small source mod has to offer. Stay tuned for that video and good luck with your server.